After complaining about how I wished Android had something that could compete with Apple's AirDrop and seamlessly share files like photos and videos wirelessly between my Android phone and Mac, I finally found a solution that works in a similar way to AirDrop. And the best part is you don't need to download anything extra. It's free and it's easy. And if the file you send to your Mac is a PDF, you can do a lot more with it using PDF Element from Wondershare, who sponsored this video. With this software, you can do things like underline, highlight, generally mark up a document, create a signature. You can also do some pretty cool stuff like take a scanned PDF that wasn't originally editable, set your language, and boom, you can now select and edit text from that PDF. With PDF Element, converting a PDF to another file is a breeze, and you can can do it in batches. And the program makes it easy to work with and create interactive PDFs with checkboxes and dropdowns. And you also have the ability through the software to extract data from multiple PDF forms into a single CSV file, which is pretty convenient. Wondershare also has a good amount of tutorials for their software available on YouTube. PDF Element can be downloaded for free on Mac, Windows, Android, and iOS. You can use the link below to save up to 50% off on PDF Element Desktop. So let's dive in and get started. And first, you'll need to make sure that your Mac software is up to date and running the latest version of Mac OS. And you'll also need to make sure that your Android phone software is up to date as well. On your Mac, open System Preferences. Select Software Update and make sure you're running the most up-to-date software. On your Android phone, go to Settings and look or search for Software Update. All right, now that our software is up to date, let's talk about file transfers. So let's say for an example, I've got a raw photo stored on my Android phone that isn't already backed up to Google Photos and I want to transfer it to my Mac wirelessly. To do that, I'll go into Google Photos, My Library, Device Files, and then select the photo I want and click the Share button. What I need to look for is something called Bluetooth sharing. Now, if you don't see it in the menu that pops up first, click More and then click Bluetooth. Then select your Mac from the list that appears, click Allow on your Mac, and then watch your files transfer. Now with my 2019 iMac, files transfer at about 42 kilobytes per second, which isn't very fast. So if you have a larger file, it may still be better to plug your Android device directly to your Mac and use something like Android File Transfer to transfer those files. We'll have a video out on how to do that soon, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Now, if you don't see your Mac in the list of devices on your Android device, that can be because of a few different things. So first, you'll want to make sure that your Mac and Android are up to date with their software updates. And second, make sure that Bluetooth is turned on for both devices and then go into your Mac system preferences. In the top right hand corner, search for the keywords Bluetooth sharing. A screen will appear with a list on the left. Make sure that Bluetooth sharing is checked and the status light for Bluetooth sharing is green and double check that the sections when receiving items and when other devices browse aren't set to never allow. If everything there looks good, it should work. Now, this should work with any app on Android that has access to the share sheet. So for example, let's say I downloaded a file that now lives in my files app on Android, and I now want to transfer that file over to my Mac wirelessly. You just go into the files app, select the file you want, click share, and you should see the option for Bluetooth sharing. All right, well, I hope you found this video helpful and informative. And if you did and liked it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button below and subscribe to the channel for more how-to and tech-related videos like this one. Well, that's gonna do it for me. For six months later, I'm Josh Tedder. Thanks for watching.